want to get in trouble for not having any masks on. Yeah. Our events already happened once, sorry. We ready? One, two, three. Can you just. Right, the shadow's in the picture. Can you um, <laughs> move back just a little bit? Thank you. I have no mask. Okay. <laughs> We're going. One, two, three. Good. Okay. Good. All right. I think that's good. Thank you. Let's get to work. Let me get a quote of that. No. <laughs> Don't write that one. We're in big trouble. One time under budget. With you on the board, I'm sure it's going to be under budget. <laughs> Between him and I, it better be. <laughs> there you go. Move in. Uh huh. The, the layout is going to be very similar with the somebody that knows about the uh, Ma, uh, Raleigh or Mario. The gate. What do we call that roof? The gable roof. Gable roof. They're gonna. It's gonna be even in the portable. They're gonna. They're being designed to really go with what we currently okay. have. Okay. Color schemes. Okay. Everything are matching. Okay. Even the carpet. Carpet. Okay. The tiles. To everything is. We, we've done a really thorough job to match what is uh, uh, dwelling and And this is all six classrooms, right? Yes, six oh, classrooms. Six rooms. Uh -huh. uh, there'll be two classrooms in each building. So, uh -huh. so how many, uh, well, this, do you have like what, two kinder classrooms now or is this going to bring Oh up no, we have more than that. We have, I believe, six now. Six, okay. Yeah. Wow, so 12. The, and, um, what's the school's current uh, student population? Uh, uh, the current population of RES is around, I want to say around 870. Okay, okay. And this is going to bring it up to or about 24 students per classroom? So. Uh-huh, okay. kindergarten. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. And you, are you experiencing, um, of, you know, uh, increasing enrollment? Or? You know, it's hard to say. This is our largest populated school okay. at, at the moment, RES. We we did see a little bit of uh, a decline in enrollment during COVID, but yeah. I think that was pretty much normal for uh, most school districts saw a little decline. Okay. So yeah. uh, our goal is to open up with five days of in-person instruction. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much, I think, what... The governor is also hopeful for that, yeah. uh, and, and we ha we we do have an independent study school. Okay. So if they're but our independent study school typically only accommodates students in grades four through twelve. Okay. And um, so we're we're really encouraging our parents, okay. the primary grades, to bring their kids to to school, whether okay. it's here or at West Park. So yeah. Okay. Great. We're very excited because it, it provides us the op once you've got the classroom. The classrooms are the difficult yeah. piece. It's when you have growth and there's no classrooms. Uh, that, that's a real quagmire. Yeah. If you've got the classrooms and the growth comes, you're able to really accommodate okay. them. So, and so again, you've got how many? You got two, one here, and and the other two. One right? building with two classrooms, and then there'll be two buildings with two classrooms in them. On the other side. Yeah. Okay. you. Come in the uh, coming yeah. into the school. You saw that big dirt pile. Over yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right next to that. Building. Yeah, that, that freeway exit is so bizarre because I can't make a right turn. It's uh, I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. They have all those white poles there. Yeah, they. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking when the road department set that up. Yeah. <laughs> and the first class of students will come into these classrooms in January of 23. Right. 22. Right. Two twenty two. January of 22. Oh, 22. Yes, we should be finished in right. November-ish, uh, John. So, you know, of course, we say that anything can happen, bad weather, you know, rain, whatever. But um, we are uh, optimistic. Our project manager is HPLE, uh, Jaime Ortiz. Yeah. And Jaime is, and the, and the, um, the modular, uh, the company that's producing the modulars. Uh -huh. We should be done in November. They make some really nice modulars. They now. do. They're incredible, really. Yeah. Um, so you've come a long way. <laughs> yeah. The district has come a long way. Yeah, From we're... our original design of the 
the 50s. Uh, we had not had a school built since 1964. Wow. Uh, and then we had our first one that we started was West Park. Yeah. Uh, which was, I think we started it in 04. Yeah, I, I was there for the groundbreaking. Yeah. And then uh, right after we got that one finished, we uh, were able to get the gymnasium over at uh, Tropico. Uh, Tropico. Yeah. And then uh, our last project was this one. And then now we go again. Yeah, and this one just, just opened, what, two years ago, three years ago? Uh, three, years. three years. Okay. Okay. No, it's been longer than that. Four, seventeen was it or eighteen? Eighteen. Oh, I think it was seventeen. Seventeen. Maybe yeah. seventeen. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I think it was seventeen. Yeah, because my my um my former editor covered it. Yeah, he he was gone by twenty eighteen. So. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you know I don't want to I don't want to get get you get too excited, but hopefully about the time we're finishing this. We could be um, uh, getting plans in the way for another project. Oh. This time it'd be at the high school, but okay. we're not we're not All definite right. about that yet. So I'll we're hold we'll on. hold that. We're working okay. on that. But that's good. Yeah. That's good. So. Okay. Good. Good. And uh, so I wanted to get Raleigh's name. What have you? Oh, Raleigh's yeah. walking around with yeah, my purse. Oh no, I, I <laughs> I'm sure he's not liking that one bit. I'll have to. Hear the end of, right, never hear the end of that. Um, right. Anyway, what's his last name? Davis, right? His last name Davis? Yes, Raleigh Davis. R A W L E Y. Oh, there he comes. And the. Uh, what's his title? Uh, he's our director of, of, of grounds and maintenance facilities. The budget for this project has turned out to be 5.5 or something? I, I, I believe it's. Um, five, it was about 5.2 okay. million dollars. So it was hardship funds. We only had to, our share of that was only 40 some thousand. Uh huh. Yeah, so, Raleigh, I'm, thank you for doing that oh. for me. It actually matched your shirt. I, I, I not a bad. I'm sure you're used to that. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime we're at a store, it's like, here, hold this. All right. We'll see y'all 